Welcome back to my coverage of the Waves Aquatic Centre reconstruction. Due to Sydney's COVID lockdown, four months have passed since my last video, and in that time there's been amazing progress. The roof of the gymnasium, the multi-purpose room and the lobby have been completed. The roof of the warm water program pool, the indoor leisure pool and the cafe are in progress. The air conditioning plant has been positioned on the roof. Tiling is well underway on the 50 metre and the 25 metre pools. Foundations for the club room have been laid and foundations for covered picnic tables near the 25 metre and 50 metre pools have been laid. The area where the splash pad and water slide has been cleared, but I don't know whether they will be part of this first phase or uh, delayed to the second phase. Rehabilitation of the rose garden has also begun. As usual, I'll run the drone around the perimeter of the site to show you the current status, and then compare the video from this episode with the video from the last, so you can check the differences. Remember to have a look at the video description for more information, particularly if you want to view the very high resolution drone maps that I prepare for each episode. You can download the maps and then zoom in on those areas of particular interest to you. I've also included links to the architect plans for the new aquatic centre. These have been on the Hillshire website for some time now, so they may not be up to date. However, the construction work completed so far fits well with the plans. If you find this video interesting, please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Now over to the drone circuit of the construction site and then the side-by-side -side comparison. The wind was gusty, so you'll see the drone being knocked around quite a bit in this video. No more commentary, just the sounds of nature I recorded in the Rose Garden. <laughs> 